I think the main issue probably for most of you are the first two, that is where there's an arrears of rent with a uh, lease, should a landlord commence a proceeding in VCAT or a court? And secondly, um, the issues that can arise with calling on bank guarantees that have been given as security for a tenant's obligations under a lease. <coughs> well, okay, VCAT's jurisdiction, this often causes problems. Apart from claims for uh, relief against forfeiture and claims uh, concerning unconscionable conduct, VCAT has exclusive jurisdiction to hear and determine a retail tenancy dispute. And that is very widely defined to mean a dispute between a landlord and a tenant, among other things, arising under or in relation to a retail premises lease. Now, because of the words relate, the relation to, that's very wide, catches all sorts of things. And I've mentioned a case there called Seidler, which the court said relate itself would appear to mean to have some association or connection with. So you can imagine if something's related to something else, it doesn't need a direct and immediate connection. Um, it's very wide. So most, many disputes, the, the field is vast for, for issues that are going to be caught by the definition and have to go to VCAT because VCAT has exclusive jurisdiction. jurisdiction. However, a dispute relating to solely to the payment of rent is not a retail tenancy's dispute, and this is where problems arise. If a landlord has a claim for rent, should it issue in VCAT or a court? Uh, it could issue in VCAT, even though it's not a retail tenancy's dispute, assuming there's no dispute and it's just a claim for rent, uh, because it's also uh, a consumer and trader dispute within the meaning of um, sections 182, 184, etc., of the Australian Consumer Law and Fair Trading Act 2012. Um, so VCAT has a jurisdiction to hear cases that relate to land. You'll see the definition of service there I've put in paragraph 6. Includes rights in relation to an interest in real property. So that's, that, that's the definition of services. is very widely defined to include interests in relation to real property. So you can always get a leasing case into VCAT. You also can get disputes about licences into VCAT. 